My 2025 is finally here and it brings along an impressive roster of 3D modeling updates. Many of the tools and features build off the updates from 2024 to dramatically increase the speed in which you create and iterate your 3D models. While testing out the 3D modeling tools, I took on the challenge of creating this complex hard surface model. Surprisingly, these tools helped me finish much faster and even change my 3D modeling workflow. So in this video, I'll be breaking down Maya's 2025 3D modeling updates in less than five minutes. Let's get started. First up is Extrude Edge. In a perfect world, you do all your 3D modeling, then lay out your UVs. But many times, this is just not the case. If you end up extruding an edge, new UVs are automatically created on top of your existing UV layout, which kind of makes a mess of the existing UV layout that you have. This new update aims to fix this. It auto creates and lays out new UVs as you extrude the edge, making it easier to identify those new UVs and reintroduce them into your existing UV layout. And today's sponsor is me, looking to turn your passion into an exciting career in film or video games. If so, I got your back. Enroll in the Hard Surface Masterclass and discover my simple step-by-step -step process to create professional 3D models. Unlock the 3D secrets that will get you hired. Register for free to this exclusive three-part masterclass using the link down below. Bevel Boolean Intersections. When you add a bevel to a 3D model made from a Boolean operation, by default, the output only bevels the edges form from the boolean intersection with the history active if you change the input meshes from the boolean node the bevel will dynamically adjust affecting only the new updated intersection edges changing the boolean operation type say from subtraction to union will also reflect those changes to bevel only those intersecting areas this is a game changer if you want to create complex hard surface intersections that blend with each other but want to use the flexibility of booleans to preview the result before committing to changes and introducing proper topology. Smart Extrude. In certain situations, extruding inward towards your mesh could result in janky results or a lot of time wasted manually rebuilding the extruded forms. Smart Extrude is here to save the day. With this new tool, extruded areas are seamlessly reconstructed and merged drastically reducing the need for manual tweaking of the resulting geometry. Smart operations like cut through, overlap, outward intersection management, and the removal of inverted faces at boundaries are all included. This dramatically can speed up your 3D modeling workflow, allow you to experiment with complex shapes, and spend less time dealing with cluttered, unwanted geometry throughout the process. Bevel filtering. This is one of my favorite 3D modeling updates for Maya 2025, especially for hard surface modeling. When creating hard surface models, you spend a lot of time selecting hard edges to bevel. Whether your end goal is to create larger bevels to define your overall shapes or smaller bevels meant to be used for holding edges in sub-D mode. By default, Maya bevels all the edges of your object, which is not often what you want. You often have to manually select these edges or use the selection filter tool in Maya, which can be a bit overwhelming at time with its options. Bevel filtering instantly upgrades your 3D modeling workflow by saving you precious time by quickly giving you a wider range of options to filter which edges get beveled. You have the selection filter that will bevel your selected edges. This is how you're probably used to beveling most of your edges. Here's where it gets interesting. You can tell Maya only to bevel hard edges or if you need additional control, you could even define the bevel by angle, providing precise control over which edges get beveled. And that was it, folks. What did you think of Maya's 2025's 3D modeling updates? Which one was your favorite? Drop those in the comments section down below. While these Maya updates will definitely speed up your 3D modeling workflow, you still have to know the basics of topology. And to help you out, I made this video right here.